It's Monday, which means it's time for us to look at all the new variants that are being added in Marvel Snap this week. You guys know the series. What bundles are they a part of? Are they in the spotlight caches? Do they cost 700, 1200 gold? Are they ultimate variants? All those questions, we're going to answer them about every single variant coming out this week. Let's jump right into it because this week is a very exciting week where we're finally getting the Hellfire Gala uh, takeover on top of that. So... If you guys are new here, my name is Eddie, by the way. Welcome in. Make sure to comment down below which variant you plan on getting. Subscribe if you like talking or if you like my content in general uh, with me. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it helps with the algorithm to get more people to notice this video. Now, we're here December 11th to the 17th this week. You guys can see the first week, uh, the first day, which is today, as you're watching this, in a couple hours from now, you guys are going to get a bunch of Hellfire Gala variants that are coming out. This is the shop takeover. We are getting Gambit, Captain Marvel, She-Hulk, Magic, Scarlet Witch, Rogue, Bishop, Black Panther, Captain America, Doctor Doom, Moon Knight, Jean Grey, and Ford. So a bunch of them coming out here. And if I remember correctly, they are all going to be super rare, which is 1,200 gold. Yeah, there you go. So 1,200 gold for each one of them. I'll show you guys my three favorites, which are Gambit, Doctor Doom. Oh, man, this is my number one for sure. And I really like this Captain America. Now, let me double check and see. There's a, That magic's also excellent. Uh, Rogue is really good. I'm sure this is like a very specific style so not everyone's gonna like them but i do like the hellfire gala i don't know if i'm gonna pick them up all of them but definitely at least dr doom that's the one that i know for sure i can confirm i'm gonna pick this one up today all right going into tomorrow obviously it's gonna be tuesday december 12th that means that we're also getting these spotlight caches there uh in the spotlight caches we got blob ravona renslayer and living tribunal so as you guys can see here i'm gonna open all of these up for you guys uh first one up one of these blobs, so the Dan Hip is a 700 gold one. Um, this one by Ryan Kennard is, I'm pretty sure, the one in the spotlight caches. Then we've got the Ravona Rensler in the spotlight cache, like that, and the L Living Tribunal by Kylan Q. This one's going to be another one in the spotlight. So those are the three in the spotlight caches. Really like these ones. I think it's a good week for variants. The cards themselves, I'm not a big player of Ravona, but if you guys like Ravona Rensai, make sure to pick that up. I am a big fan of Living Tribunal. I definitely think that that's a good card to pick up if you don't have it already. And then we've also got this uh, blob. Ooh, this one says unknown. So maybe am I mixing them up? Let me go check real quickly for you guys. If I look on the spotlights... Which one is the blob one? Oh, it is this one. I'm sorry, guys. This one's going to be the one in the spotlight cache. So, not the other one. This is in the spotlight. All right, let's keep going then. Uh, I'll come back over here to December 11th. Where is it? There it is. So, we're getting two of them here. These two, uh, one of them 700 gold. The other one, we don't actually know what it's going to cost yet. Uh, but this one's not a spotlight cache. So, we have the spotlight, which is the Hellfire Gala one. All right. Let's keep this going. I'm going to close all the other tabs here. We're December 13th. We are getting a new Jane Foster. Let's check this one out. Very cool. Oh, I like this Jane a lot, guys. That's a very badass Jane Foster Mighty Thor variant for 1,200 gold by Ji Hyun Lee. I'm really bad with the name, so I'm very sorry if I butchered that. Excellent, excellent variant for 1,200 gold. Let's keep it going. On December 14th, we're getting three more, two more Hellfire Gala and a Noir variant. Sabertooth Noir for 700 gold. That's not bad at all, actually. Very cool variant for 700 gold. I like that one a lot. We're getting these um, Kingpin one, which I kind of like this one. And this is going to be a part of a bundle. Let's open this up. There you go. So the bundle includes the Kingpin we just saw and this Ghost Rider right here. Which I like this Ghost Rider in the suit. Um, 40 USD. You're getting two variants, two avatars, 3,500 tokens. So enough for a Series 4 card. And some boosters and or boosters for both cards. There you go. 40 bucks. You can see here it is a good value within the game. If that's something that interests you guys, definitely check it out. This is a pass for me. It's a little bit high. And those are two cards that I don't normally enjoy playing. So I'm definitely not going to pick it up. But I know a lot of people are going to be excited for this one. Then we've got the Good Boy Lockjaw for 1,200 gold. Pretty cool. Um, not the best Lockjaw variant in my opinion, but it's a not bad one. If you guys like playing Lockjaw, that's a pretty exciting deck to play overall. 1,200 gold for this one. So make sure to check it out if you're interested. And then I think we only got, yeah, one more set here. Three more variants, two pixels and a demonized one, which I'm going to say right now. I'm going to start with the demon one here. 
Electra in the Rip and Tear bundle. This is going to be 1,200 gold, so it's not bad. It's the same price as if you would get a variant by itself. But on top of getting the variant, you're getting 2,000 credits, boosters, and an avatar. So if you guys like the variant, this would be the same cost if you were to buy it in the shop as a super rare. But you're getting stuff on top of it. I think it's a fairly good price. I wouldn't be shocked if we saw a little patch OTA buff to Electra before this came out, but might be wrong. I feel like not a lot of people are playing Electra at the moment, so don't be surprised if we get a little, little bit of a buff for her before this bundle comes out. And if that makes their opinion change, definitely check this out. And then, of course, we got to finish with some pixels. We got Colleen Wing and Lady Sif, both of them coming for 700. I'm going to say two of the best pixel variants we've seen so far in the game. I, again, I'm not a pixel guy, but I do like these two, especially this Lady Sif is one of the top tier ones. Now, if you're wondering, Eddie, which variants of Pixel do you like? Well, make sure to subscribe because my next video of Marvel Snap that's releasing later in the week, we're going to look at every single Pixel variant and we're going to choose our top five from that. So make sure to subscribe if that interests you because like I said, we're going to be doing that. Now, my pick of the week, I said it at the start, but I'm going to go back to it. My number one pick of the week is the Doctor Doom. So that is my choice of the one variant I'm going to get this week. Make sure to comment down below which one is your number one. Make sure to comment uh, your number one. What else you want us to talk about. Subscribe if you're interested, if you like my content. And give this video a thumbs up. Now, I'll be honest. I've said it in the last video. I'm going to continue saying it because these are all pre-recorded. I don't know if you guys have watched the other ones or not. Um, next week will be the last one of this series where we do the weekly variants this saturday or friday whenever i decide to post it will be my last top five pixel very but the top five pixel will be my last top five variant as well video sorry as well because going into the new year i will no longer be making marvel snap content don't worry i'm gonna explain everything in a future video so please if you guys enjoy my style my content i'm gonna be doing a lot of new stuff but it's still going to be in the same vein of how I do the Marvel Snap content. Just talking about a bunch of other things. So subscribe if that interests you. If you're only interested in Marvel Snap, I understand that maybe you don't want to subscribe. Or unsubscribe, I'm not going to decide anything for you. But like I said, please give me a chance. That's all I ask for. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next two or three videos for Marvel Snap stuff. Have a good rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.